I stopped by the pawn shop that is close to my house today and I picked up some games. They usually have a ton because that's something I suppose people turn in a lot. And the first game I got is a PS3 game and I actually have played it since I purchased it and it's pretty good. And that is Jericho. Um, I was pretty sure that I was going to like this. I've seen little video clips of it before I bought it, so I kind of knew what to expect. And I really like it. And it was only $7. And then plus I got a deal on it. I forget how much I paid, but from this pawn shop, if you buy more than one game, usually they'll give you a pretty good deal because they kind of need to keep them going out because they get them in so often. So yeah. I really like this. It's pretty good so far. I mean, it's not blowing my mind or anything, but it is entertaining. The next game I got is another PS3 game, and that is Need for Speed Pro Street for my wheel. So I have another game to play with that. And this one was $16.99, but I didn't pay that. I forget, like I said, what the total for everything was. So... Uh, yeah. Should be good. I mean, racers aren't really something that I'm that into, but I'm really excited about the wheel and it's fun to play with it, so I'll just get a few. I'll probably get Gran Turismo 5. A few racers. So I can get my kicks with that. And then the last game is a PlayStation 2 game. And I just said that I'm not that into racers, but this is Midnight Club. And I used to have this, and I have never laughed so hard playing a game, I think, than I have with this. Because there's something on here. I don't know if it says on the back. No. But there's a game on here, and I think it's called Capture the Flag, where it's a two-player game. And you pick up a flag, you just kind of drive into a designated area, like on Crazy Taxi. And then it shows a little flag on top of your car. And the other player has to slam into you to get the flag, and you're both trying to get it to a checkpoint. And it is hilarious. Oh my goodness. It is so much fun. Because you're going, and you have the flag, and then there's little maps, so you can see that the person's coming from this way, and you're like, Oh, I'm going to beat you, and I'm going to get through them. And then they come, and they slam right into you, and you go flying, and then they go tearing off with the flag. And it is so fun. And you laugh so hard because you just get side-swiped out of nowhere. Sometimes you're going and you don't even see where they're going to hit you from. And then all of a sudden before you know it, you're spun out and there they go with the flag. Or when you hit someone and you end up with the flag and go taking off. Oh, me and my friends had so much fun with that particular um, game on this. So, I had to get it again. For the laughs and the memories. So that's it for our games. And then I just have, I guess you would call this a rant. Although I don't know how rantish it'll be. I'm not gonna like get really, really angry about it. It's more funny now than it was when it first happened. Sorry, I drank a soda and I shouldn't have done that because now I'm burpy. My little observation slash rant slash funny story is I went to Walmart today to get a Magic the Gathering Magic the Gathering cards booster deck. I have been purchasing booster decks from the Walmart by my house for a little over a month now because the comic book store is way this way and the Dimple Records is way that way, and Walmart is practically just right in this little vicinity. And they're a whole penny cheaper, woo! The card games, the Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever, little games, Pokemon, whatever they have out for card games, usually when you go to a store, they keep them in the front by the register because it's something that kids like to steal. Or, I guess I shouldn't say kids, people like to steal. So, usually they're in the front, but at the Walmart here, they're way in the back, in the toy section. So I go back there, and they've got a whole new display up where the cards used to be, 
and they're not there. So I figure, okay, they probably moved them to the front, because I don't know why they weren't there in the first place. That's usually where you will find them. So I go and check around at the registers, and lo and behold, they put up a big display of the little card games there. I'm digging through all the Yu-Gi-Oh's to see if they just shoved the magic behind them because there wasn't that many because usually they only have like 10 decks of magic at a time. So I'm looking, 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 not finding anything and I'm just like, what the hell? Staring at everything and they have these big $20 and $10 big ginormous packs of magic in boxes at the bottom but I just wanted the little think it's 15 card booster deck. So this kid comes over, who works at Walmart, and he says, oh, can I help you with something? And I said, yeah, I'm looking for the little booster magic decks. And he goes, magic? Yeah. Magic the Gathering little booster decks like these Yu-Gi-Oh's? Do you carry them anymore? Oh, maybe like a decade ago. Bitch. I know that you have not been working at Walmart for a friggin decade. I have been buying booster decks from this very Walmart for over a month. So you have carried them and they look exactly, and so I held up the box of the big ones, they look exactly like this. Magic the Gathering. But little decks, like these Yu-Gi-Oh ones. And he goes, oh. And then, proceeds to tell me about the 90s. And how magic was really popular in the 90s. I grew up in the 90s. I know when it was really popular. I'm not asking for a lecture on the 90s and Magic the Gathering history. I want you to tell me where the goddamn booster packs are. So then he tells me that maybe they're in toys with like freaking card decks and Uno and Phase 10 and crap like that. No! They are not with those games! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that game was popular in the 90s, you carried it like a decade ago. 